Embryo screening, chorionic villus sampling, PGD, and amniocentesis by casescience.com. We're firstly going to look at pre-implantation genetic diagnosis, PGD. So during IVF, pre-implantation genetic diagnosis, or PGD, is used to screen for genetic disorders. So this here is a sperm being injected into an egg cell to fertilize it using the process ICSI. Or the egg and the sperm can be mixed in a petri dish or the egg will be fertilized by a sperm cell. And this here is a fertilized egg cell called a zygote. The zygote is going to divide into an embryo. So this here is an embryo. So this here is an embryo. But of course, during IVF, they're going to fertilize multiple egg cells to produce multiple embryos. So to genetically screen this embryo, they remove one cell from each embryo. So as you can see, one cell from each embryo is removed. So one cell from each embryo is removed. They will then analyze the genome of each cell for the faulty gene. And in this cell from this embryo, the DNA shows a mutated faulty allele. Whereas in this cell from this embryo, there's a normal allele. And there's a normal allele in this embryo too. So they remove a cell from each embryo and the genes are analyzed. Embryos with mutated faulty genes are destroyed. And the healthy embryos are kept and used and transferred into the woman's uterus. This embryo has a faulty allele in its genome. Therefore, it is destroyed and not used and transferred into the woman's uterus. Whereas these two embryos are healthy, they have normal alleles. So they're going to be used and transferred into the woman's uterus because they've been genetically screened and they do not have the genetic disorder that they are screening for. So these two embryos are then implanted into the woman's uterus. So as you can see here, these two embryos without any genetic mutations are going to be transferred into the woman's uterus and the baby will not have the inherited genetic disorder. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. We're now going to talk about chorionic villus sampling, CVS. Chorionic villus sampling can be used to identify genetic disorders in unborn babies, so in the fetuses. This here is a pregnant woman, and this here is the amnionic sac, the amnionic sac that contains amnionic fluid. It is in this amnionic sac where the baby develops. So this here is the fetus. What I'm drawing here is the placenta, the placenta. So this red part is the placenta. The placenta provides the nutrients and oxygen from the mother, as you can see here, via the umbilical cord. So there's a part on the placenta called the chorionic villus. The chorionic villus shares the same DNA as the fetus and not the mother. So you can genetically screen the fetus if you take a sample of the cells from the chorionic villus from the placenta. And chorionic villus sampling normally takes place between 10 and 12 weeks. That's between 10 and 12 weeks of pregnancy. This is because these cells have the same genes as the fetus and not the mother. So these represent cells from the chorionic villus that is on the placenta. So it's a part of the placenta called the chorionic villus. So these chorionic cells have the same genes as the developing embryos or fetus. You then analyze the genes of these cells. You then analyze the genes of these cells. And as you can see here, this gene has been found to have a fault in it. It is a mutated allele. So this here is a faulty gene. 
which means that the child has inherited the genetic disorder that the mother or father has. So parents can decide to terminate the pregnancy or not. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. We're now going to talk about amniocentesis. So between 15 and 16 weeks, a woman can have her fetus checked for genetic disorders. This here is the amniotic fluid in the amniotic sac. These represent cells of the fetus. And these cells of the fetus are going to be found in the amniotic fluid. So cells from the fetus are found in the amniotic fluid surrounding the fetus. So a needle is going to be injected into the amniotic sac to extract some amniotic fluid, which contains fetal cells. So a sample of fluid is removed, which contains the cells from the fetus. So a sample of fluid is removed, which contains the cells from the fetus. These cells are then going to be analyzed for genetic disorders. So the cells from the fetus in the amniotic fluid can be genetically screened for genetic disorders. And at this point, the mother or father can make a decision whether to terminate the baby or not. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. Press pause to practice using those key words. The answers will follow. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. And if you're stuck, just rewatch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes.